your dog was whimpering. I made you whimper. You won't do nothing. You're weak. <laughs> You're weak. <laughs> <laughs> You're weak. Alright. You ready to go? Yeah. Alright. This is episode 15 of the Being Human show. This week I'm joined by some Perth royalty. No, oh, mate. Jamison Lennon. Too kind. How are you, mate? Good, mate. How are you? Good. Who's oh, this yeah. bloke? Who'd you bring? A Dai Lan. A Dai Lan? Sick. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, nah, we got the Jam and Dylan boys on today. You just turned um, retired for a bit. The Dam and Dylan boys. Yeah, Dam and Dylan boys. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to start this, to be honest. Just get it rolling, mate. How's life been going? Life's been doing well. What yeah. about you? Not bad, Still not bad. Bump? Same old, yeah. Same old since the last time you came on? Yeah, nothing yeah. new. What about you, Jam It's, it's yeah. actually been a while since you've been on. It has. What was I on? Episode one. Oh, shit. And this is episode 14 15, weeks, so. mate. Um, yeah, no, nah, it's been good. Yeah. yeah, roller coaster, but mm. it's been a fun one, so it's always busy. happy. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, very busy. Yeah, time off soon. What is it? Twenty first. Time off on the fifth for me. Yeah, for time a month. Off work. Yep. Yeah, very excited good. for that. You boys go on roller coasters at mm. um places. No, nah. like um, oh, theme been, parks and shit. I've been on one at Adventure Seekers. World. I went on that big Donny one. Mm-hmm. What's it called? The Abyss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've been on that. Um, I shat myself like yeah. quite literally. Like, you was know that, that like when it first came out? Um, no, it would have been like maybe a year after. I remember okay. when that came out, bro. It was the talk of like, yeah. it was on every advert. Yeah, it was like abyss. the steepest one in like the Southern news. Hemisphere or some shit. Because it goes like in, mm. inverts. It oh, is pretty bro. wild. I can shat myself. I don't you even a thrill seeker? No, nah, I wouldn't call myself a thrill seeker. But like, I, I'd go on roller coasters if other people were going to do it with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm fair. not going to solo roller coaster ride. Nah, there's no point in doing a solo. Nah. I'm the biggest not adrenaline junkie ever. Yeah, yeah. I feel that. I'm just, I yeah. hate it. The only time I like adrenaline's like, like for example, when we went, we were going to go do the abandoned stuff. Oh I yeah, no, that, that was shit. fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish that, that sort of rush is cool. I wish that went on. We tried yeah. prank calling you the other day, and then Dylan goes, "Oh no, Lockie's just no fun." Wow, well, yeah, no, no, I just no, wanted no, you, you said, to pick you up. Said, was, you, he goes, I was Lockie so doesn't like fun." <laughs> wow, because I thought if you were fun, you'd pick up the phone but and you we could like prank you. Got you got called like four times. When did you call me? When was this? We were with Friday, them. You, didn't you were definitely with Alyssa, I think. You didn't yeah. fucking call me. No, we didn't, but your phone must have rang. Yeah, it was from like fake numbers from all around the world. We got, who did we get? We got Cussworth, Tyler oh, Cussworth. You? That was you. Yeah. We got I got a Baker. fucking call from Greece. Yeah. Oh, see, that's the problem that it's yeah, giving it overseas Australia. numbers. They oh, got so it. that was you? Yeah, well, it's an okay. app. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll show you thank after. God. Like, we did heaps of different. Um, I thought my phone number was compromised because I actually got a phone call from some, some Donny. Like, I'm talking maybe like two, three weeks ago, and he was like, "Oh, just letting you know that your number's being used for blah blah blah, like as a scam." Oh, and I was what like, the All right, "What the fuck?" It was a local number too. And I was like, "What the fuck?" And then yeah, interesting. Fuck that. But nothing's happened since. And when you started calling me from around mm. the world, I was like, "Oh shit." Yeah, I really wanted you to pick up just to see how you'd react. Yeah, you but really got angry that he well, was because no one, no, because no one was picking up. Yeah, it which took is fair. Like I don't really pick my phone take, up like, anyway. Twenty minutes to get like one, and it was Dill's brother was the first one to pick up. Yeah, because got his mechanic him, business. And then we got a Jamba's like kid footy coach or something. Yeah, like we had so many different some yeah, right. people. His mechanic, yeah, my mechanic. And shit. No, no, no we so were. It's a pre-recorded thing. Fucking. Hell. Of course it's it good, be. it's good. I'll play one so you know what it's Play about. the one. The one. All right, no worries. It works well. Did you see the TikTok last night? Nah. Okay. I haven't been on TikTok today, to be honest. Hello? Hello? This is the person who cut me off in traffic last week, yeah? Uh, Hello? Uh, Where'd you go? Yeah. Yeah, I was in a green Mercedes. You cut me off and then gave me the finger. This is fucked. No, I don't Are think you driving in a tunnel or something? You're breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sitting here right here listening to you now. Don't play dumb. I took down your license plate and tracked you down. Oh. <laughs> Which one, yeah, and? I would like an apology <laughs> so I can just move on with my life. Thank you very much. Oh, well, I don't know. Where, where was it? Oh, my God. Will you stop being a dickhead and just apologise? Oh. Go and get fucked, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Sick, eh? That was so good. Yeah. But yeah, so like the app, it was like 
Can you remember Ownage pranks? They're on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. like ages ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then they made an app which like has automated voices. Yeah, right. From, yeah. So we chose the Australian girl. Mm. But then, yeah, it was coming from like South Africa, New stuff. Zealand. So it was a bit annoying, but we got there. Decent app. Decent app. Yeah, I would fun. like, there's no way I'd be picking up an overseas no. number. Well, that's why I didn't pick up because mm. I kept getting them. And yeah. I, was, I was actually, I was with Alyssa at the time. Yeah. And I was kind of like, oh, like I'm a bit, a bit worried <laughs> because you know, I've been told that my number's compromised. I was actually going to get Optus that day <laughs> to get my number changed. Have you? Um, aren't you due a new phone? I am. I am. Yeah. I might go today actually, but we'll see. Treat yourself. But anyway, um, so we had a chat this morning in the group chat. Uh, well, me and Jamie did because this guy was asleep till like literally like an hour ago. Still got here perfectly on time. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. He got here before Jamie. You, know, you said get here just before twelve. I was in the driveway at eleven fifty nine. But what did you say? You said have cheese cracker board or some shit for mm. me. <laughs> yeah. Um. But we, we we were talking in the chat when you woke up, and you mm. said that today you're retiring from social media. Yeah. Um, so this is our <laughs> formal announcement that me and D- uh, Dylan are retiring from social media and becoming a d- uh, DJ duo. Yeah. We're called the Thornley House Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually fun. I do see why you and Evan uh, love it. Yeah. It's, it's, it it's is interesting. Fun. Did we, you um, get on the other night? Yeah, they were teaching me a little bit. Yeah, yeah Evan, w- Evan was teaching him the basics and shit, and then I Evan went and played games and whatever and then i just it is fun it, is, it fun. is fun were you yeah. mixing like normal pop songs more well, like house, yeah, house bit of hip hop yeah. you was doing it all mate nice um but yeah it was good fun mm. yeah. it is you had a little success with a tune you put out yeah we'll play I, um, for everyone yeah there's a um good for you drum and bass um remix by foreign mercy that came out it's been like on tiktok like mm. yeah whatever and then so i played it with a little switch that i put together and Chucked it up on TikTok, it's like 23k, so it's getting around. Um, if you want the actual clip, it's on my SoundCloud. How um, many views is the mix on now? You have happy my with mix? yourself, it yeah. hit 450. Really? Okay, nice, cool. bro. 400. Nice. Your other ones were at like, what, 250, 300? One hit 200, the other was for like 100, 150. Yeah, yeah so this one's that's it. pretty well. Let's go. And I, so. I saw there was a lot of feedback in the comments yeah. from other DJs, which was nice. Well, I'm in a group chat with a couple of like local DJs. Yeah. Um, and I just sent it into the chat and I was like, just give me some feedback. Mm. And they did. And one bloke sent me his mix and I gave him some feedback. Too wobbly. Too wobbly. Too wobbly. Um, but yeah, no, they're a good bunch of lads and gave me some feedback and stuff. That's what you so. want, mate. Yeah. So it's doing doing pretty well. Jamo, you mentioned you had something about Satan. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So Get onto it, mate. Right, Get onto so it. Last night, right? I don't know. Actually, no, it was a TikTok. So I'm just scrolling through. You know, my For You page is pretty fucked. It's like just funny like disabled people um standard and obviously like respect to all disabled people it must be a rough gig um but yeah there was just a lot of funny clips a lot of haspula i love that bloke um, Haspula. and then basically this clip came up and it was an alex jones thing from like 30 he's like a mad cunt bro. i actually love Everyone, alex he jones he was crazy like it's like anyone who's too forward thinking is crazy bro, he got cancer every, because of that yeah everyone like so particularly in the last like two years Basically, everything he said 10 years ago, 15 years ago has come true now. Yeah. Um, 100%. Have you guys heard of Bohemian Grove? Yep, I've heard about it. No. So, basically, it is a place in the US, in um, California, where all of the big head honchos gather once a year for this ritual. Yep. And supposedly there, like is, me, bro. supposedly there is a human that is sacrificed in front of everyone. Okay. And um, basically, I saw a clip on TikTok about it and I was like, there's no way. Like it was a full th- And it's out in the woods So no one can get there It's high security and They wear hoods and shit mm. I think there's a movie on that Eyes Wide Shut Okay The, the director Ooh, yeah, got died be. Got killed over it or something oh, Like really? there's a big conspiracy Around it actually There are also um, There's also a conspiracy That bo- the Bohemian Grove people Killed Epstein So okay. I don't know There's some like Correlation Well yeah he had like that. Like dirt on everyone apparently yeah. Because he had cameras yeah. Like watching every Mm, all yep. the pedophile shit but what I found interesting is that the video itself had I think about 3 million views but it was so hard to find on YouTube so I typed in the exact title and it had been you can't filtered. find shit like um, that anymore no, on YouTube, bro, YouTube on the has internet. banned all things that say conspiracy bro, in it. It yeah. you can't like, find anything anymore yeah. I reckon it took about 5-10 minutes to find it and I'm normally pretty quick with finding things so yeah. I had to dig a bit deep to find it and mm. it's horrific quality it's like 300p or something mm. yeah but um, 
Yeah, I watched most of it and it was pretty full on, eh? It like, is full on. And yeah. so basically him and this like cameraman sneak in with hidden cameras and like just have to pretend they're part of it all. Because mm. back then Alex Jones wasn't known, so it was a lot easier to do things like that. And he's gotten in there and then they sat with the crowd and watched the ritual. But like they couldn't work out exactly what if the person was real because they were like under like It's like a wrap. Yeah, they yeah. were wrapped up in something and like getting Burnt it. it was like a pig on a steak on a spit. It was fucking weird. It's crazy how Alex Jones isn't dead, bro. Mm. Well, maybe he said that many things for a reason, mate. Yeah, maybe. It's even like the Justin Bieber song "Yummy." Like after when all that Jeffrey Epstein stuff came out on Netflix, and then there's a big thing like his song is like talking about like all the kind of pedophile. Like that mm. song's like a metaphor for all the pedophile stuff, and all the symbols are like like it's crazy. There's a there's yeah. a video on it. It's insane well, anyone's gonna come out against it it's just mm. it's crazy you know I mean? bro it's crazy epstein that's that whole story is crazy there's, bro. Some crazy like, there's shit no going there's up. absolutely no way that he committed suicide nah absolutely not so yeah interesting topic some bad people out there bro there is um apparently the the god they worship on mm. the bohemian whatever it's called um bohemian grove is it yep yeah it's like an owl god yeah so bro they have it's a 40 foot stone owl yep. that they worship and like they call it she and yeah. it's so weird it's like I think Bohemian Grove's on the island that Epstein owned really? it's in California I'm not sure if it's on an island but it's oh is it? but where it is there's like a lake and a river and then yeah, there is yeah, an island in the middle grow, maybe and like there's maybe. a main stage and shit and like anyone that was questioned by Alex Jones about it like in the neighbourhood they were just like, nah, we don't know anything. Or mm. like, we, nah, I've never been. But you could tell like so they, been were, paid they off. were hiding shit. Yeah. Heaps of dark shit going on. I reckon it was like Bob Dylan sold his soul to the devil. Yeah, he bro. like wrote a song about... There's a, I watched a thing on Netflix. It was this... He's seen as like one of the greatest guitar players. I forgot his name. And it was in the 30s. He died at 27. He was a black guy. And he was shit, right, at guitar for so, so, so long. Mm. Then literally goes missing for a year comes back and he's a god like a maestro and they reckon he he wrote another song about it he went to like the crossroads and like sold his soul to the devil fucking, what's it called oh. i forgot his name but yeah he's in the 30s it'd be hard to remember he sold his soul to the devil and he wrote a song about it it's crazy bro is it buddy holly yeah i think that's or is he him. white it's, i don't know it was, doesn't sound i, I white. can't remember his name no have a look like it's I someone who i'd never holly. heard of before though because i'm pretty sure that Buddy Holly was oh, no, white. He's white. Yeah. Maybe not. Or was it him that did the song about it? I can't remember. But something about him's fucked up too. But I can't remember. But um, yeah. He died in a plane crash with. Oh yeah, this that's guy's right. called Robert Johnson. Robert Johnson, yeah. Buddy Holly died in a yeah. He died in a um, crane plash. Yeah, he couldn't literally couldn't Man, play basketball. Crane plash. Crane plash. I said crane plash. That's nah. Right. Um, just it's quickly. <laughs> it's um, a Monday. I just want to quickly. Get my notes up because I had something I wanted to talk about. No worries. Okay, some dot points, bit of professionalism here. I like yeah. it. So basically, um, so these are some topics that I have been thinking about the last few days. Um, so some of these have already been discussed last week. Um, but the first question is that I have for you, is, right? Since we love music on this podcast, Dylan, you're first. Mm-hmm. What song would you sing if you went on X Factor? What would I sing on? Wow. I'm on X Factor. Say say you're actually good at singing. Okay, right? what would I belt So he's out? not us now. No, so say we you were. can sing, oh. right? What song are you picking? I'm a good singer. I'm going out to show them I'm the best. What am I singing? Let me try and look. I don't know. It'd have to be something where I can show my vocal range, mm. you know? Mm. So, have you got one lined up? Or yeah, do you need yeah. A way? yeah, I'd sing You're the Voice, John Farnham. I'll sing a Lewis Capaldi. Yeah. I like a Before You Go. I like that song. Before You Go? Yeah, yeah that'd be a good one. I could go. show my vocal range. Yeah. I could like, everyone can stop and just appreciate what they're hearing at the moment. I mm. would, uh, same thing. That's why you're the voice. There's like those high notes, but I would love to sing that in front of a crowd. Obviously, they know the song. The whole audience singing it with me. That'd be a moment. That would be a moment. Yeah. Imagine the boys all in the crowd. Oh, mm, man. Good stuff. Mine, do you know what mine would be? Mm. Bloodstream by Ed Sheeran. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's mine. Getting like is that the one like, like the tell foot? Tell me when it kicks. Yeah. Yep. You could do like make the music yourself. How he does with the foot pedals yeah. and like record yeah. the yeah yeah. That would be 
Yeah, or anything Ed Sheeran. Yeah, he's yeah. got he's got some other you can really show yeah. your musical ability. That was like 100%. the other day. So basically, I've got a CD stuck in my car, and, it, <laughs> and, it, and it's from when because the the car is like my mum's old car, and it is the what is the album called? It's the Blue I think Ed Sheeran it, album. Plus, plus is that plus? No, divide. Minus? divide, divide, That's divide. It. Right, so divides in there, and Dylan and I. We're going to like the bottle shop the other day and we we're just listening to the songs that were in there. Some very good songs. There's some really oh, cool songs in yeah, there. He's, he's very, he's probably one of the greatest oh, artists I, I, of this I like 20 years. He's probably he's number one easy. Like. I reckon he's the best of our generation. I was, he's telling, he's he, I was telling Dylan when that album came out, he was probably my favourite artist at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've always liked him. He was, that was the first concert I ever went to. Mm. Was 2015? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, me too. Well, when he, first when he like, when we were in like year 10 or whatever. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, he was really good. He was, and he was so sick live. That bloke who was oh, and that other bloke who was there, Rudimental were there. Yep. And that other bloke, he had that one song, "Let Her Go." You remember that song? Oh, um, Dean Law. No. no, no, no. It was a different guy. Let me. Is it James Arthur? No, it's not. You know, like only know you love her when you let her go. James Bay. His name is Passenger. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There was actually a lot of people there. Yeah, it was good. That was at the RSC stadium yeah. or the Perth stadium yeah. or whatever. Mm. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, so next topic. I was thinking about this the other day because something came up. I can't remember what it was. But a debate on the best dynamic duo of all time. Of all time? Just in what? In general. Wow. So when someone says dynamic duo, what's the first thing that comes to your head? My he just came like Jordan and Jordan Pippen. Pippen. Yeah, that that, that's what came away, to my yeah. head straight away as well. Yeah. Um, just been a but I mean, this could be anything. It yeah, could be Batman Robin. Yeah, you know true. what I mean? Batman Robin's a good one. Wow. Okay, it's a good okay. question, right? Best, Best dynamic, dynamic duo. duo. Personally, Everyone. I want factional, not fictional. Okay, sure. So, so, for example, when that question came up, I thought Pippen mm. and Jordan, and then I thought Hamish and Andy for like yep. comedic duo. Well, that, that's why I asked you, because you guys are a duo. Yeah. And I feel like... You know, you got quite I, dynamic. I, 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 st- I kind of don't mind it fiction as well, just because it. Okay. Yeah. But well, let's do let's do if one fiction, fiction, one factual. Okay. Batman and Robin for me. I, yeah. you, Robin was like my my G bro. Yeah, when when though, I was a kid, I was like, fuck yeah, this fiction. little yeah. Who are the, this like, little nugget duos, bro. <laughs> dynamic duo. Who who are you thinking of? Did you think Jordan and Pippen? Jordan Pippen was straight away for mm. me. Yeah. Even though I don't, I'm not really a big fan of basketball. Yeah. But it's just how dominant, like they are just yeah. iconic as a duo. <laughs> yeah. Aaron Sandland's Hayden Valentine. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, Jamo. <laughs> no. Jeff and Matt Hardy. Yeah. I used to like Ray Mysterio and Batista when they were a tag team for a couple Dudley of years. Dudley Brothers? I never good. really liked them. You know, I'm a Fast and Furious nerd, so Paul Walker and Vin Diesel. Yeah, that's duo. good. The Brotherhood, I that's feel good. through them, I, I do enjoy that's watching Have you seen that. the new one yet or no? I don't want to even watch it, bro. It's but you're disrespectful. Nerd. Wouldn't you watch it? Truly. Nah, no, it's because it, without Did Paul you watch Walker, any of the new ones? I've seen eight. I didn't really think it was that great. Yeah, I just don't know why they continue it without... What's your favourite yeah. Fast and Furious? Two oh, for man. me. Fa- two, two Fast, Two Furious. Two, that's the one I've seen the most. I love that one. I like all of them, though. Like three, five. Which one's two? Is that when it's just Paul Walker Too Fast, Too Furious yeah, yeah, that's a good one so I, I remember watch th- that so much They bro. didn't get like The Fast and Furious name Until like 5 I think Like it was yeah. Fast and Furious Then it was like Too Fast, Too Furious mm. Then it was Tokyo Drift Tokyo Drift is good Tokyo, Tokyo Drift, Drift, Drift was actually My favourite movie From that franchise Really? And, and it doesn't have The main people in it yeah, It's a good one good. though That's a good one I just like the whole story of it Like Bad Boy It's in Japan But the aesthetic's Japan. really elite oh, yeah, yeah, I like the Japan, Japan scene yeah. man. So And I think in that movie, it showcases more of the racing aspect. Like yeah, it's more action now. The, the first the few were really good at race, yeah. like it was low-key mm. scale. And I love uh, the oh, start of George. Tokyo Drift when they're still in America and they, she's like, winner gets me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm and like, oh, my God. Because <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that all the time. I'd like wrestle on the trampoline with a pillow when I was a kid, right? Yeah. And I pretended it was someone from school and it was like the winner. Like imagine me losing to a pillow. Not going to happen. So you so just win every time. I win every Sounds time. I'd, I'd get the girl every time. It was rigged. <laughs> like all those fucking boxing matches. Mm. The non professional Dynamic duo. Chris Judd, Ben Cousins. Yeah, that's West dynamic. Elite. Um, Who was singing? Oh, there's good singers like Simon and Garfunkel or like oh, Fleetwood yeah. Mac and stuff. Angus I didn't even think Stone. of... Yeah. Yeah, there are some good ones out there. There really is. You know, it's a really good debate. You know what I didn't realize? Angus and Julia Stone were 
together. Like they're in a relationship, and then they broke up. So now it's just Julia Stone and yeah. Angie. Two <laughs> separates. I don't know what Angus's real Angus. name is. So what that. Google has to say: best duos of all time. We might be forgetting a big one, you know. Yeah. Scotty and Jordan for me is like the standout though. Mm. Shaq and Kobe maybe is that? that yeah, one? that's pretty pretty good. These are iconic movie duos. That's what came up. Uh, you think back to our childhood. Woody like and Buzz. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's good. Good. oh, that's good. Oh, that's yeah. good. Drake that's and good. Josh. Bonnie Jack and Clyde. Josh. I haven't seen that. But Even um, like Zach and Cody. Sweet Life of Zach oh, and yeah. Cody. Oh, yeah. Paul Brothers. They'd be pretty dynamic. Paul, yeah, they're pretty dynamic. The two Step Brothers. You know, like the movie Step yeah. Brothers. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a sick duo. Doc and Marty, Back oh, to the Future. The Rock and Kevin Hart. They're yeah, a dynamic duo. They're a very good they're a good dynamic duo. Yeah, yeah. I reckon they'd be good together. An abstract duo too. Han yeah. Solo and Chewbacca was yeah. rated number one. I was going to say that. Yeah. I'm getting through all the like fantasy, like classic movies lately. I started Harry Potter's. Yeah. And I've watched two of the three Lord of the Rings. How was the second? Second one was Elite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because Lord of the Rings. Fr- yeah. Really? First, first, one, like first, one I, a first one I thought is overrated. Not much happened. But as with the second one, I was like, yeah. As you watch, really good. As you watch, I think as a trilogy, it'll be really good. Yeah, as you watch all of them, the first one will be so much better. But that's how it's like, mate. It was shot all at once. So when I I understood that, I was like, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try and knock those out, knock the Harry Potters out, knock the Star Wars out. How long would they be shooting for if they shot three movies at once? Well, they're all three long movies. Well, I've got the extended version. The last, so the third movie Mm. is like two hour, two and a half hours. That extended version goes to nearly four hours. Wow. Do you have the extended version of every like fiction movie? Pretty much. What's your favourite Star Wars? Revenge of the Sith. Third one. Got to try and watch all of those. Yeah. I've seen bits in like, you know, like the first two and then like the first, like the second one of the, you know what I mean? Of mm. the. If I was to prequels. sit down and watch a trilogy of movies, I would not pick Star Wars. I'd pick Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Okay. They're so much easier to watch. And I feel well, like. Some I, of the I Star, Wars Star Wars movies but aren't even received that mm. well. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Some of them just in- insignificant as well. Yeah. For some reason, I was, I was watching Wolf of Wall Street the other night and... I love the movie, but it does, it does go on for a bit too long. Yeah, but I agree. I think There are bits that, that didn't need to be in it. I think personally, when a movie's three hours, I lose interest. Yeah. I, feel like I like long. I like. I, I don't, I don't mind, mind long movies, but I definitely agree with you on Wolf of Wall yeah. Street. There yeah. are just things that are just so like, uh, well, yeah, but it is an elite movie. Do you have a favourite movie? Like just a number one? <sighs> it's hard because as a kid, it was the Bench Warmers. That was just mm. had such a big place for, in my heart. Mine's Twister. I don't think Twister. I've seen that. I haven't seen it. Sounds fucked. All right, hold on. I'll get it. Oh, <laughs> Twister. Twister. Hold it here. You guys can keep that and I'll get the movie. Was it like the board game? No. Twister. I don't think it I've It sounds like a who's twisted, in it? twisted, like, horror. There's no point really asking me questions with no mic, eh? Yell it out. We'll repeat it. Who's the main actor in Twister? Um, or actress? He can't even find his favourite movie. Yeah. Yep. Where is it? You sold it. Um, but basically, this is the movie. It's under your bed, got cum all over it. Yeah, probably, bro. I fucking love that movie so much. Twister. Um, so basically, it's about storm chasers. Okay. okay. Oh. Yeah. Um, because I love, I love, like the weather. Yeah. I'm so, so obsessed you, like, with it. All those like disaster movies. Yeah. You love Did like you 2012. Ever and 2012. Shit? That's a gangster movie. Um, I love Into that the Storm movie. was sick. Did you ever want to be a weatherman? I I was actually thinking about storm. it. Yeah. Um, so this is that the one on the boat. The no, sh- they they follow it. This is a same similar oh, okay. movie. Um, but I Bill one Paxton with, is the main actor. I watched one with George Clooney the other day. Mark he actually died a few years ago, which was kind of sad. Um, Philip Seymour. Yeah, Jamie, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's elite. Um, but this movie. Okay. If you're into that sort of stuff, definitely watch. I might Twister. give it a watch. If, if you if you if you said to if you asked my dad what's Lockie's favorite movie, he'd say that because I used to watch Twister. it every day. All right. Okay. But yeah, it's just an easy movie. Old one too. Pre our birth, ninety six. Yeah, nice. So I, I definitely that. recommend it. Um, yeah. What about you? Maybe what do I like? I like Shawshank Redemption. Oh yeah, Elite good. Goodfellas good. is one of the great bro. Just a perfect movie. Really? Honestly, it's perfect. Okay. Yeah, I haven't really watched any of that sort of mob. I Italian watched all of them, stuff. bro. Yeah. I haven't really I've done watched heaps much of that, but maybe I'll good stuff. You it. should watch Goodfellas. It's really good. I haven't seen Scarface or anything. Scarface is really good. There's one called Casino. It's really good. Like Robert De Niro is basically in all the mob movies, yeah. Yeah, he's and he's just king, elite. Bro. They're all so good, bro. Yeah. All right. Next topic. 
you had to pick one room to stay in for the rest of your life, what would you pick? My prison. My eternal prison. What am I picking? So, food's not an option. Like, not a problem. Like, everything you need to survive. So, it's just the room itself. Yeah, you just yeah, pick yeah. a room. Okay. Does it have to be in our house? Not anywhere you want. Any room in the oh. world. I got one room. Nature's room. But the, let's the make it. Let's outdoors. make it. Let's make it the only room that you, you have to. You have to have been in that room in your life. What's a room for? Oh, okay. You'd have to have been in that room. Yeah. So you okay. can't just pick a. Yeah. I don't know. Somewhere you've never been before. Okay. So I've got to be in. What's a room? I just thought this is. Thing is though, like I was thinking my bedroom because obviously I've been there for my whole life and I've never complained, mm. right? But then, I feel like I'd go crazy in in my bedroom. Like it's. There's my allowed a balcony. Mate, yeah, mm. but no it's grass. Yeah, okay. So if you've wait, so the balcony, what? Because a balcony is technically counts. part of the house, isn't it? Yeah, it if, is. If you can get, but it's part of the house. Is it part of the room? Because there's a slide. Yeah. Door. Okay. Let's say if so if, if you've got a, a room and there's a door that leads out to a balcony, you can go out there. Yeah. But it has to be closed can, off. It yeah, can't closed. Be like, it can't be a garden. Yeah, yeah. Yep. There yep. was a hotel that I stayed at when I was in Phuket, right? And it was like there was no rooms. The whole house was just one big room. Okay. Yeah, there's just a couple pillars. Yeah, but, but the pillars weren't fully, like, cutting off anywhere. Oh. So, I'm choosing that. I'm choosing this Phuket. Big, big Donny room. Well, yeah, overlooking the room. ocean, right? Ooh. Nice green Dancing. grass below. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to go down there, but good to look at. Yep. Nice. You know Carl Pilkington? He always mm-hmm. used to say, I'd rather so be in funny. the shit house looking around at the nice houses than in the nice house looking at yeah, shit Yeah, I've seen that. I'd rather be in the nice one still, but yeah, I get exactly. where he's coming from. <laughs> I like that was good stuff. An idiot abroad. He's oh, hilarious. Yeah, he's bro. so funny, man. So he's funny. hilarious. Have oh. you seen when they just sit down with him and talk? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. With I've the white background. Binge watched that's some of the that. best. Like, oh. where would you pick? I'm struggling. Um, I don't know. What probably pick this room to be honest. Yeah. No, this would be not too bad because obviously you can sleep. Movies. Here. Yeah, I need a good movie TV. Like, I need a good screen in there because it's got a good sound system. Mm-hmm. Like, Dad's put a bit of work into it. So I'd probably it's be pretty. You got enough movies to choose from as well. Yep. Yeah, this wouldn't be too yeah. bad. Could live in here. Could Fuck in it. You're choosing nice. this one. Well, I just need my Xbox there. Give me my decks. Put a nice little table over there. Maybe I want something like this, but just near like a beach or somewhere, a river. Mm-hmm. Then I can go outside and just what about the like world pass by. Mm-hmm. Any rooms like down south or in Bali or anything? There's been obviously some great rooms over in like those <laughs> yeah. countries. Really. What about our Toolies little shack? That oh, that was as a room. Bro, that was a fun place. Oh, that's a room, a kitchen and a bathroom. Yeah. So yeah. there was a lot going on there, and that it, was, was it cool wasn't separated. So maybe that could be our room. That was a cool room. Cheer house. That was a cool room. Imagine three of us living there for the rest of our lives, <laughs> <laughs> just rotating from the bed to the couches. We would kill each other, man. That Bro, would be I crazy. Remember my my pump wasn't working, and I had a hole in my mattress. Hmm. Yeah, unlucky. Lucky I didn't. Was did Evan so sleep funny. on a couch? I didn't sleep there one once though. I don't think. I had I slept on Evans. Yeah. We, uh, actually, we I actually, I was a bed. thinking back to it. I remember us sleeping yeah. in the same bed. Are we separate each other? Remember? Yeah. That was. I remember that bed was elite. Yeah. Really? No, that was. Pr- I remember waking up just like fuck me. Like the the sleep I had on that thing. That was a beautiful Shit. bed. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That was a fun trip, to be honest. Oh, it yeah. was. Looking back, there were so many good moments. <laughs> God, we um. Got to do some mischief there, didn't we? We did. Good times I've, and bad times, oh, bro. I've all the videos of Dylan pretending to be paraplegic. Oh, oh yeah, that was a trend I did enjoy doing for a bit. 100% capacity now for WA. We're out of COVID. Oh, oh nice. Congratulations, like everyone. Phase five complete. We're back to normal. Fantastic. Good. We've done it. We've done it until something else happens. but Until we go to Melbourne. Mm. Melbourne's all clear now. Is it? But now Sydney's fucked, so... Oh, for fuck's sake. They just swap back and forth, bro. Yeah. I feel like our trip's going down the shitter nah, every day. we're still going. You reckon? Yeah. But if you pull out, I'll if be so mad. If there's any... I'm, I'm not going if, if there's COVID. If there, no, there's, if there's no COVID any, in Melbourne. So if there's Melbourne. any possibility of me being in two weeks quarantine, I'm not going. See, bro, the dog just wants get to in. come in, bro. He won't get in. Um, That's Satan's dog right there. Yeah. He's just a pup still. And he's still learning How his old? size. He's one. Okay. What type of dog is that called? British Staffy. A what? British Staffy. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he's he's a he's only one, so <laughs> but he won't Still grow young. anymore. So Still young. that'll be stunted him. growth. He's yeah, GHD. In in a few years, he'll. Do you be take him to like a school, trained. or you guys just train him? No, yourself? we just trained him. We've trained him. We've well, had Staffy before, all over so. us and shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's excited. Right? Well, he he's has gotten kid. better. He has yeah. gotten better. No, hundred percent. I remember the first time fourteen weeks ago when I came here, mm. and he was a bit. Well, he doesn't bite clothes and shit anymore. No. So that's 
Always good. He was a bit scratchy. He actually ripped this. See this little hole here? Yeah. That's him. Well, I got this shirt and that's the same day. Damage. He fucking bit it. Yeah, it's, it's just right. a little hole. But but anyway, all right, we move on. Um, so I had a question from Mr. Avion Music. Okay. All right. Um, he asked me a couple of weeks ago and I forgot to answer it last week. Um, what are some YouTubers slash creators that we're, or that I'm um, into at the moment, but you can be included in this question as well? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so... Yeah. Um for so for me, I don't really watch much YouTube to be honest. Okay. okay. I watch quite a bit. I do have a fascination with sports cards as you guys know. Okay. There is a guy on YouTube that I watch pretty much every day and his mm-hmm. name is Pac Man Cards and I like him. Okay. okay. So I watch his I actually this one might sound a bit weird, but sometimes he does live streams that go for like two, three hours. Sometimes I just put them them on and go to sleep. Okay. That's right. I guess it's like a podcast, really. Yeah. It's just so him doing a review. What do open. I watch? That's always good. I watch a lot of. I watch Nelk Boys every week, and like Steve will do it. Okay, yeah. I watch a lot of sports shows. There's two I love. It's there's one called Undisputed, mm-hmm. Skip yep. Bayless and Shannon Sharp. I watch that like daily. And another one, it's got Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman. First Take Elite. They just talk about like American sports. Okay, okay. Yeah. I watch cool, that cool. shit all the time, just because I. It's just like good background, mm. you know. If I'm playing PlayStation yeah. or doing something, I'll I do. Put that I stuff do still on. love the Sidemen as well. I, watch I don't watch much them as much stuff. anymore, yeah. but I still good. love them. I think they're always good. Um, even just their individual channels. I yeah, like, like Josh Zirk, I like his stuff. Yeah, they're all they're all like well rounded. Yeah, you know they are for yeah. sure. I watch a lot of UK stuff. So anything that is like. F- I know will be funny. That's like Chunks and Philly. Yeah, like yeah, I watch, yeah, I watch, yeah, I watch all them. They're all those. Done, done yeah, they're good. Di- they're Ooh, a Philly very good, good one. one. Like um, a good new one as well. Yeah, they're really. Yeah, they've good. only really come out the last couple of years. Have you watched the um, the morning show? What's it called? Yeah, the I've pre- watched a little bit. Oh man, not it's bad. so funny. Darkest, man darkest funny. in Philly. Oh fuck me. Um, I watched the Al Han and Poet show. That's just that's good a podcast. They're pretty good. I like that. I miss when Vuj and Poet though were like together. I love them as a duo. Yeah, Vuj is good. Um, well, podcasts count as creators too. Yeah. So what? Yeah. If you, if you, Theo Von, I watch all of his podcasts. He's a lead. He's so funny. Weekend? He's so that funny. Past weekend, yeah. I like King of the Sting. Oh, I watch, I watch a lot of that. Yeah, I watch that pretty much every week now. Um, Fighter and the Kids also good. They're good. Um, Brendan and yeah. Brian Callen was on it, but he got cancelled. That was annoying, eh? That that was a good show. I like them as a duo. I like Brian Callen. Um, Chris D'Elia's podcast is good if you like comedy. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't watched. I haven't watched too much of him oh in God, general. He's so funny, man. His podcast. I like that stupid comedy. Mm. That's yeah, that's true. Like, fucking me, it kills me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much me. For I watch a fair few like music reactors as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to watch more of that, but not as much anymore. Yeah. There was like ZS and B Lou. Yeah. Mm. You They're guys cool seen Star Trek? Star Trek? Sorry, mm. just because I was looking the, dynamic. The they said. Sp- Spock and Kirk or something oh, as yeah. a dynamic duo. Yeah, yeah. Captain Kirk and Spock. Yeah, I like the normal the Star Star Trek movies. Like okay. Not the I've, I've only shit. seen like the new ones. Like yeah, that's one what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are good. Um, oh fucking, they're a trio, but like Harry Potter, Ron and mm, mine. They're, yeah, mm. they're a good trio. They actually mm. are. But yeah. Anyway, um, we move. So you guys, any other any other YouTuber creators you want to? YouTubers, YouTubers. No? I think those are the main uh, ones. I really. I, John I like and Dylan, are good creators. <laughs> well, yeah, not do. bad, not bad. We put it all right. in, you know. You guys don't give yourself enough credit, man. You guys are doing well. Appreciate you guys it. Doing really Thank well. you, mate. Um, oh, Mario and Luigi, bro. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I forgot about those. They're we didn't. Even, I didn't even think of video games. They're massive. The, yeah, that's the thing. Indiana Jones and other movies you need to watch. Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, that's on my list. Mm. Uh, I'm Blade Runner as well. I'm oh, I'm not a big fan of Blade Runner. No? Okay. I, and the Matrix movies, not a big fan. No, agreed. I watched the first one again and I was like, I just don't just see it. Me. Yeah, I don't see it with that. Oh, I started watching You. Uh, oh, I love that show. Um, With the girl. Yeah. And I've finished. we finished the first series. Elite. Did it's fun, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. Not elite. It's I'm on to the second season. One now. of those like binge worthy shows. That you yeah, just I'm telling watching. you, lads. Entourage. I need to get around. I'm telling still. you, like it's the go. Every mm. time you tell me, I say I'm gonna watch it, and it's it always so slips. No, my but mind. it'll yeah, be that same, thing. Like yeah. when you finally watch it, you'll be like, yeah, I mm, do really want to watch. So it. So good. Yeah, it's definitely on my list. But um, well, there was this show I was telling Dylan about it the other day. It was called Blue Therapy, and it was like a show made oh, by yeah. like an independent creator, right? Um. Or an independent company or whatever. And basically, they got couples from the UK to come on and do couples therapy with a therapist, right? But the therapist, I believe, was real. But all it later came out 
that all of the people on the show were actors and they were pretending to be in relationships and shit. Wow. But the show was so successful. Like three really? mi- three million views, four million views on Damn. all the videos, right? People are so invested. They're DMing people saying like, you're fucked, you're this, you're that. And then one guy came out and said that it was fake and everyone else said, no, it wasn't, it was real. He's like, I don't even have a photo with this girl that I was in the show with and you think that we've been well, in like a three-year like, relationship. It took so long to come out. Like, didn't the friends of everyone go... I don't Who's know. This girl? Like, I have no idea, especially because the show was so big. But like, you would have seen. I think I might have sent you some of the snippets of it. It's just like, um, it's like old TV, bro. Yeah, it's TV old. sucks. Bro. No, I always try. Like, my dad always says that. He just goes, "It's TV. Like, it's fake." I used to get annoyed as a kid. Like, mm. no, it's real. It's yeah, just not. Um, I the watched fake, bro. Facts, bro. I watched Too Hot to Handle. With Alyssa mm. Not really Like all those shitty shows yeah, like, so yeah. I haven't cool. seen Too Hot to Handle Love Island's coming up Yeah I watched that. Love Island Like the Australian one last But last you can tell that shit before. is so scripted bro Like yeah. it is so obvious It's just it's just good TV Yeah exactly or Good TV if you know what I mean um, Have you, um, have you yeah. ever seen The YouTube channel YBS Youngbloods YBS Yeah Rings Young. a Bell mm, So basically his name's Brody Moss And he lives in Exmouth and he has millions. And oh millions yeah, I know who you're followers. talking about. The and nature guy. Yeah, and bro, he's like the new Steve Irwin, basically. Okay. But he just does shit all himself. So like, he has he has a jet ski, and then he has like a crazy like fast boat. Then he has like a relaxing boat, and then he has all these different things. And he goes all these to, toys. But what he used to do, nice. it was so funny. I went back and like through the backlog of his videos and watched the big ones, and like it, they'd be like space six months apart. But every time. He'd go and do one of these trips. He'd have like this hot model with him mm. and there'd be a different one every time. Nice. And then like they'd get a little bit of fame from it and he'd obviously have a good time with it. And then like now he's got a, a girlfriend who's from Argentina and she's sort of been in the picture in and out, in and out, like going on these trips when she's come to Australia and now they're together. It's quite like a cute thing. Oh yeah. But yeah, no, they've been to like, I was watching one the other day, he's just like goes to these islands that no one like lives on and then he just lives off the island through like fishing oh i think i may have seen this donny i'll show you yeah i think i have but like his video quality is ridiculously like incredible Mm. um but yeah he's someone that i guess i don't watch regularly but i enjoy his stuff yeah yeah like it's a lifestyle that i could never live personally but like for example like living on the fish eye couch and like there's his miso. Oh. That would. This looks cool. Look at his jellyfish, bro. Fuck that shit. But he has what two point three eight million. Damn. But yeah, no. Some of his videos are sick. Um. There you go. Catching a giant crayfish. Sometimes he just goes to Rotto and then just like teaches people how to do all this. Nice. Yeah. I so. was watching a couple for a little bit. Just a husband, and wife, and they had a really young baby, like a couple months old, and they live on this yacht, and they literally just sail around the caribbean and he like it was so cool they wake up in the morning and get on a little dinghy and he just goes spear fishing for their lunch yeah. and the baby and the mum are just in the boat like in the middle of that's the ocean so just chilling cute. he's spear fishing bro i was like that's like providing yeah. you know what i mean that's so cool imagine like i woke up today spear fished <laughs> like it was so good they <laughs> well, so what do we actually do today we woke up late came here Doing yeah. podcasts I'm not making any fish I'm not spear catching Some anything. blokes getting out uh, Yeah I was like They, they look like They're living yeah, a good life provi- Imagine Like Poor families Especially like African dads mm. In a village Providing for Hunting, their kids bro, It's crazy yeah. mm. Mm. Respect Major respect mm. Yeah mm. I'll just duck down to coals And get a chicken <laughs> Chicken and Chicken rolls mate yeah. Cavemen and shit Would have fucked up humans today Oh, bro. oh bro They would have like Smashed every Olympic record Do you know how fit These men would be yeah, They'd be running all day bro, bro. They're running after <laughs> animals And killing them With their bare hands And then bringing it back mm. <sighs> But they all, all Would have been um, in shape too Yeah bro You would have had to have been. They would have been Eating good back then You know Yeah just would have been So natural much stuff There would have been well. So much like Fruit Meat A lot of nutrients In everything. the food No additives No They'd be, they'd I'd, be actually, I'd want so to see good. a running race between one of them because their form would be completely different. They'd probably run on all fours. Maybe. <laughs> Imagine the, that. The pure power they would have, I think, oh. would just be unmatched. Yeah, facts. Damn. Crazy, bro. It's just crazy to think about, hey. Um, look, we don't have much, really. I do have. I did put up a thing on my story on Instagram, but obviously you can't get it because my fucking phone is recording. Oh. So, um, you can log in if you want. I did. Nah, it's all good. Um, I did ask the people 
if they had any weird obsessions because last week I showed Mitch my ASMR obsession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's something I've never got into, eh? Just ASMR. Dude, it doesn't honestly, hit the spot for me. It's like, yeah. It's you so still good. listen? Yeah. Every, every, every Does night. Does it not again. annoy you having something in your ear to go um, like sleep? Is it to sleep sometimes, or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but one thing I wanted to ask you is, is, did you have any weird obsessions? Weird obsessions, weird obsessions. Weird obsessions. Like obsessions. something that we would go, oh, it's a bit strange. Yeah, a bit odd. I said it like a long time ago. When I like first started wanking, I did it on my knees. Just okay, yeah. And then like, I don't It's a bit odd. I Like I'd probably still do that today. Like I can do it other ways, <laughs> but like that's just, <laughs> that's my habit. Fair enough. Um, What else? feel pretty normal-ish. So, so you don't have any... Obsessions. Like anything you're obsessed with? Or an open book here? Yeah, I'm just trying I to I just think. like... I like watching like pimple popping videos. Yeah, that's, okay. a, so that, that's a that's, weird obsession. That's, yeah, that's a weird obsession. I or removing like when they just... Black heads ingrown and hairs and oh. black heads. And I like seeing... Okay, yeah, that's a good one. Like back cracking stuff. Or even I don't mind like those really like... Sometimes there's websites with just like crazy no, violence you like on them and gore. stuff yeah like you do like that shit. stuff i have a weird obsession with like just watching that kind of stuff yeah dylan's a psychopath just because i don't know just it shows all the crazy things that happen in the world day to day you're <laughs> laughing and clapping and shit <laughs> 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 yeah i don't know that shit i'm watching it the doesn't to throw up like i, I do find <laughs> it interesting as well just how crazy yeah. the world can be facts i bro. love stuff like that just res- i respect that um, I did get one answer. Someone swiped up and said you, but you can't guess who it is. Wait, wait, wait. Someone swiped up on my story. Swiped up. Said, like, what's your weird obsession? And they swiped up and said you. Oh, about you? Yeah. They just said me. Someone said they're obsessed with me. Well, and we know them. Yeah, you do know There's them. There's a guy or a girl? Female. I haven't mentioned her this podcast, so. You haven't? I have to mention her now. Is it... I've mentioned it every podcast the last six weeks. Yeah, yeah. but... On Old Flame or... No. No, but bro, you have New mentioned flame. her. Well, we have mentioned her, but here's a what, mention. your girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Oh, oh has, that, been, has that been fully... mentioned this week. Has that been fully mentioned? <laughs> you could have... Yeah. That could have been smoother, Lucky. I oh, know. <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what the... Yeah. Could have been smoother. <laughs> it's because you, you said it before. Like, we were like, you were like, oh yeah, I was with my girl. <laughs> and then you go, oh, she hasn't been mentioned. He goes, Old Flame. <laughs> Uh, speaking of old flame, um, if you're a long time listener, you would know of the Valentine girl. Mm. Um, I was telling Alyssa the story l- last night about her, mm. and guess who'd followed her on Instagram that same as I was telling her the story. Yeah, Valentine girl. Hey, it follows what a follow. loser, bro. How weird's that? She's a loser. <laughs> um, <laughs> like fuck off. It's like the sixth time she's following me in the last six oh, months, bro. Shit. Like, some God, people pick a fucking. Lane, some people, ha- yeah, have those weird obsessions. There you go. I'm her weird obsession. What are other weird obsessions? Hey, wait, why, why has Alyssa said that? Uh, can, wait, can her name be said? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just you know, privacy and no, shit. No, she, this is not her. She doesn't want a, a, a mention. I'm just saying, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I she, mention every week, one. so now I have to give her one. Yeah. Mm. But no, um, she swiped up and said, You for weird obsession. Yeah. Why are you the I'm weird? I'm weird, bro. Yeah, true. I don't think you're that weird. I'm pretty weird. You reckon? Yeah. He's abstract. I wouldn't say like weird. I don't think you're, he's you're weird. different. I'm weird, bro. You just like what you like. You're weird too. We're all weird. We're weird, guys. Yeah. Well, then, like, everyone is. Like, if you think about it. That's true. Everyone bro, is. Bro, we make TikToks. Well, so that's fucking weird. Like, <laughs> are you serious? Bro, <laughs> fucking TikTok. Come on, bruv. Bro, I don't get TikToks. Weird. We're grown eh? men making TikToks. Yeah, I know. We need to get a, we need to get a proper job, dude. <laughs> Jamo has a proper job. Yeah, for now. Jamo's doing it for us. You're the working class man of this <laughs> the provider mm. of this trio. Yeah. We're just the um your friends, I guess. Good friends. You're providing for us. My brothers. Brothers. Um I do have one more question, but mm? I don't know how I feel about it Why? anymore. Just say it. Just um if it's shit you can cut it. I was thinking the other day. I'm probably oh, gonna also cut that whole sorry. weird obsession shit out. Um Nah, keep it in, bruv. Then people want to know more about the ins and outs of who you are. Okay. Cavemen were 150 centimetres tall So let's not forget that We've grown over time So they'd be really short And like And strong. they'd still beat the shit out of us bro They'd beat the shit out of us I reckon I could beat one in a race In a running race You reckon? Race. Nah Long I distance reckon, I reckon distance, they got you bro the, the Short distance nah. maybe Long distance you got no, no chance no, bro I don't think they were hu- Long distance they'd kill me But like that, I don't think they were hunting like 
Jaguars and shit. No, that would have been it would have been like fucking. Cows no, I still and think shit. they would be beasts, bro. I really do. You reckon? I can they be athletic, bro? They're <laughs> gifted. Tall. You got to right. remember stride length, so automatically you'd win in a sprint. Maybe, but sprinters aren't necessarily tall. Besides Usain Bolt, mm. he was like a freak of that. Mm. I think we're not giving ourselves enough credit. I think I think we're I agree. I think we always overrate ourselves athletically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but we've been we're so much more developed. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Than these 150. If anyone dwarf over overestimates himself athletically, it's me and you, bro. Every time I think of you or me, every time I think like we are just. I think everyone does. Everyone yeah. puts his tail out like it, we're all really good when mm. we probably were okay, but we weren't amazing. Actually, at all. I have one. I, I just want to touch. I just want to remind you of how s- of one of my favorite moments of us. Mm. It was a 100 meter sprint in year 12. That sprint was good. Yeah, that was a good good race. That was so Even good. Even the teachers man. were like, that was fucking what sick. What were the placings out of everyone? Do you remember who won? I can't remember. For the 100 meters? Because that. Like in our whole year? Yeah. Francis was one. Yeah. Toya? Toya was second. Yeah. Um, there was someone third, and you were fourth. I was, I was fourth. fifth or something. Yeah. Or something, yeah. Because me and Dylan were like half a second different. I beat you by like half it a second. It was like, it was really, really short. It was a good race. It was afterwards. It was like, yeah. Mm. I was supposed to be in your race and then I did my knee. Mm. I couldn't, I, uh, didn't, I didn't perform that that year. Our race got recorded. Did it? Yeah. Nice. Um, Maxi had it. And remember at the assembly, he was like, this mm. is the best race I've ever seen. But yeah. obviously for privacy reasons, he couldn't send it to me. Yeah. Because I asked him for it. He could now, I think. Really? Yeah. Send I might an email. Send emails. See. So if I can get that clip, yeah, you'd have permission from. All you need is Toya and Francis and the other two, or mm. whatever. Or one. Were they no? Well, they no, weren't they in our race. Just their time was better. Yeah, oh. in general, that was their times. But yeah, I missed out on inter school by like half to, half a second or something, which sucked. But I still went. I was like, "Sure, please let me come, man." Did he's yeah, like, he yeah. He just go. He's like, "Yeah, just jump on the bus, bro. man." Bro, sure, he didn't let me go. I remember I asked him. <laughs> this was fucked. So like. <laughs> There was two things that I came third in. I came third in hurdles. Oh, I don't know how, bro. And oh, then fuck. in the 400, I came third. And I was like, there's like surely, because I'd never gone to ACC, and I was like, surely I can go once. So I asked him, and he goes, oh, nah, man, we've only got like the number one and then the reserve. And I was like, oh, fucking hell. It's because I never had him as a teacher. Hmm. I went so. twice. I went for high jump because I came second one year. Yep. Who was our best high jumper? It was Jason Hitchcock. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Jason Hitchcock and then me. Then you know who else. was an athletic beast? Jason Jaffersa. Oh, fucking hell, bro. bro. He yeah. was a jet. A tank runner, short, Swimmer. long swim, insane, bro. So he was a fish, man. Yeah. He was He a was fish. just a beast at every, every like, just purely athletic mm, event. Yeah. Insane. Facts, bro. Yeah. He was built different, that kid. Yeah. He could hold his own in most sports, too. Yeah. Yeah, he really could. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But yeah. Very good. I miss high school so much. Bro. Yeah, same. Fuck. All those special events were fun as well. Yeah. Good stuff. Sports carnivals, into school, relays. Lumen Day. I always loved Lumen Day. I'm so convinced, right? There was a 100 meter, the the relay Mm -hmm. for our year, right? I was last straight for for Blue, Mm -hmm. Salvador. We won, McKillop. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm so confident if I'd have got that baton at the same time as Francis and that last straight, I would have beat him. You reckon? Really? 100%. I don't know about that. This is we broke the re- we bro. broke the record. I remember. I'll never forget. Yeah, but I just I reckon if we if we'd got at the same this time, is what I reckon about. my adrenaline was pumping that hard. Overestimating your athletic ability. Yeah, this 100%, guy but never back lost a hundred meter sprint in our school. True, but things happen, bro. And adrenaline kicks in. You reckon in, it would have helped I, you that day? One hundred percent. I reckon you went far behind. I do if he sees this, he'll beat the shit out of me for it. Well, if I didn't do my knee, would have made AFL. There you go. <laughs> that's un- that's not. F- you no, could have. No, no. How do you know? No, I'm just like putting it on the same level as yours. So I reckon I would have. I reckon I could okay. have. That's good self confidence. Either would have. Be, I would beat him or very narrowly lost. Run okay. it back, race again. Nah, bro, nah, it's not in us I anymore, can't. bro. <laughs> nah, you forget but how much you do when you're at school. How about that adrenaline in a day, just you know? before you race, like before when that gun mm. goes. Oh. oh, mate, good stuff. Mm. Yeah. That feeling's a good feeling. Yeah, but anyway, um, no, never again. The last we have is like a parent teacher race. You know when our kids are. In primary we're school. kids at the same school, bro. I'll dust you when we're 50. I don't care. You reckon? <laughs> I'll start training. <laughs> um, yeah, there's, I've got to train for that shit. There's no way I'm not going to win that for my son. Yeah, 100%. Just point bro. to the crowd, do him, my wife. Do the Usain Bolt, just start jogging at the end. Like. That was insane, bro. 
Mm. But anyway, Olymp- new new. There's going to be a new winner this year in the running mm. at the Olympics. That's fun. Oh yeah, he retired. Um, he retired. Yeah. Is that Johan Blake still running? He'd always come. He's a late bro. Yeah. Um. Do you guys any ha- have anything else you want to add quickly or? Ma, just any shout outs or anything? What was that thing? Just love to the people. To the people. We need a song of the week and a message. Song of the week. Let's have a look what I've been listening to. Song of the week. Can we do one each? You can do one each. Sure. Song of the week. Song of the week. What are we looking at? I will provide a song of the week also. Oh, my one is um, Bando Spot by Millions. Okay, yep, that's a good one. New song coming out of the UK for those who want to hear it. Give it a listen. 50 Cent inspired. Okay. I love 50 Cent. Maybe Bando Spot 50 instead of 50 Candy Cent was in the Entourage episode I watched yesterday. Okay, really? They have lots of cameos, bro. Look at the nice. correlations. Mark Wahlberg and Tom Brady as well. Win. Okay. Oh, oh, fuck yeah. Other one, yeah. I really ought to watch this show. Please don't, please don't let me forget this. Don't worry, lads. I'll keep it. reminding. One um, day you'll be bored and it'll happen. I need it in like a group chat in text form, I reckon. Text form. Okay, yeah, I got mine. All right, my song of the week would be um, New Bones album came out mm-hmm. in loving memory by Bones. Good. Yeah. Good I've been listening to this. There's this local band, that King Blue band. Yep. They have a song called Games, which is good. They is that the one that me that's and what I say, I say. Yeah. So I was, I've been getting on that. They're good. There's that uh, Dave song, Location. Just been oh, re, yeah. re- going standard. through that. Yep. Standard. And another song by Grimes, Elon Musk's wife. Carly's been listening to it. Too. It's called Oblivion. It's okay. cool. Elon Musk's it's wife cool. is an artist. Yeah, yeah she's really she, like abstract yeah, woman. She's yeah, abstract. Okay. she's hell. Her sound's weird too, hey? Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I do like it. Yeah, right. There you go. She's a very Message abstract lady. Message the boys. Damn. Got any? Flack of bitches getting money. Nah. I reckon... Care less about what people think. Yep. I actually, I just want to quickly talk about this. Dylan and I got sent this today, sure. and we'll talk about it on our show next week, but I'll just bring it up now. And this is like, I've talked about it before. It's the way I see the world, which is not necessarily the right way. I don't think there's a right way to go about life. But yeah, sure. Basically, this girl goes, do you not think it's so fucking weird that we exist? Like, I didn't choose to be here, and now I exist. We all have to die one day, and when we die... um people will eventually not remember us. So she's talking about generations down. So essentially, there's not much point to anything. We take everything and ourselves too seriously, and if we never existed, we would never know. When we die, we would never know we existed, so why are we here in the first place? The universe doesn't care if you're good or bad, it just goes on. I Calm- think the universe does care. Karma doesn't exist, God doesn't Ooh. exist, it's all fucks. Nah. Love your podcast. I liked it all to the last last couple lines, because mm. mm. I don't like the full, like, there's no point in living, don't care. Yeah. Because I think there's I, meaning to that, the universe That defeats stuff. my whole purpose. Mm. Mm. Um, I think there's a lot of meaning in life. I f- feel like what I take from life is that every day we're closer to death, so just do what you want. I might freeze. You know I, mean? I don't think I want to die. I might freeze, like get myself frozen, and hopefully, you know, there's that in assumption the that in the future they have a, the, the meta- medicine to bring you back. Or yeah, that would be mm. cool. I kind of want to, because I do want to see the world in like 500 years. I want to see how far humans can get. Because mm. they're still like at the start, yeah. technology wise. Like, yeah, yeah. I see. The thing is, right, what she said about karma and God and stuff. That's all m- technically from our knowledge as humans. Mm. We made that. Mm. We made that I- ideology of yeah, the yeah. whole religion and shit. We, someone on this yeah, planet, yeah, planet years ago, sure. was made right. Because like back then. If there was a God speaking to someone mm. from the heavens, you can't tell me that wouldn't have happened now. Mm. Like, why would they only do it 2,000 yeah, years yeah. ago? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I do think, like, karma and stuff's the thing. I think, I, I I think the energy you put out gets received and stuff like that. See, that's the that's what my whole idea about positive manifestation. It's not a whole spiritual thing. It's mm. a whole being positive so you have the motivation to do it yourself. Mm. You know? That's fair. You know that's what fair. I mean? Yeah. Like saying, oh, like, for example... I'm. I want to be a DJ, mm. right? That's not me saying. Oh, I'm praying to some yeah. god saying I want you to grant me this wish. Mm. It's me pushing myself to do what yeah, I want to yeah. do. No, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It. The, the manifestation thing. So, for example, if you say you want to be a DJ, right? You want to go to these places, do all that. Like you put in the effort, and you, like, if you're positive with what you're doing mm-hmm. and like working hard towards it, yep. then 
you might get given little gifts along the way to help you exactly. out. But as yeah. long as you're, you know, taking strides towards that, yep. then, you know, there's a higher chance of it happening than you just going, oh, exactly. I want to be a DJ and then just being negative about yeah. it. Yeah. Not everything is spiritual. Mm. It's just fucking self. Yeah. You know, like, if you're fucking wishing upon crystals to bring you shit, it's not going to happen. Yeah, get it, get out there you know what I mean? It. Like, yeah, you can use whatever you want to help you, but you can't just uh, rely you just on gotta, something. You got to do shit yourself, man. Mm. That's fact. And this isn't a shot at religion, but a lot of people say, like, pray to God or rely on God to help them, but then don't do anything to actually help the exactly. cause. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. People, religion gives people strength. Yeah. So like and hope if, and like afterlife exactly. stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So if I'm down in the dumps and I turn to God. That's just like a... It's a symbol of hope. Yeah, yeah. You know? 100%. Like, yeah, if you know what Gives I mean. Gives him something to live for. Yeah, exactly. You know? Um, well, it's I like Tyson like Fury says he wouldn't be where he yeah. is without re- without religion. So. And I also think that's what this chick was getting at. She was saying, and like what you said before, about how these things were created. Maybe these things were created to give life a meaning yeah. and a purpose. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Mm. So there you go. I feel like that was a good little message for yeah. people this week. So there you go. Have fun. Don't give a fuck. Enjoy yourself. Live life. Just watch watch the classics of movies like watch I Watch the classics. And yeah. Entourage. Gotta get on. You gotta you gotta appreciate the I classics so. before you move on to the new stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same with music, same with everything, you gotta know the roots. Mm. Know the Understand roots. it. Yeah. Understand it. Um yeah. There you go. That was episode fifteen. We're getting it's up there. It's a pleasure now. to be on. Yeah, it's yeah. always nice. Thanks mate. for having us. Um it's always a pleasure, boys. Comfy. It is comfy. It is comfy. Yeah, cozy, it's cozy. cozy little setup. Um, but yeah, um, SoundCloud will be in the description. Um, the boys' stuff will be in the description. Wonder where the um, mix will be when this is out. You won't, you'll be about five hundred, surely. Well, Six, if I hit five hundred, I'll be very emotional. Yeah, that's a big milestone for me personally. Oh, and the TikTok, I hit five hundred last week. I'm now eight hundred and seventy or something. It's so Olivia we'll Rodrigo effect, there. mate. She's gold. Maybe she's yeah. maybe there for that live. Yeah, you'll be on live on TikTok a bit. Um, I will be. You do it all the time, won't you? I reckon. Um, I'll tune in. So, yeah. It's been wicked. Um, Thanks for all the love as always. And I guess we'll see you next week. Much love. Right. Take care. Cheers.